What's up, YouTube? We're back with another quick hit tip. Today, we're going to talk about stream decks and more specifically, stream deck alternatives. Now, a lot of you guys are going to want a stream deck. You think they're cool. You think they sound awesome, but you don't know if you want to make that initial investment. They can be kind of pricey. And when you don't exactly know what you're getting, I totally understand that. So today, I'm going to give you three stream deck alternatives that will function pretty much like a stream deck, but they will give you that ability to kind of use one for a little bit and make up your mind if you really want to invest that for your content. Um, so the first, the first one I'm going to talk to you today is about Stream Deck Mobile. Now, this is just a mobile version of the Stream Deck. It literally can be used on your phone for a small monthly fee. Um, the second one is called um, Streamlabs Deck. It's actually built right through Streamlabs. So if you use Streamlabs OBS, um, it's a good option you can possibly use. And the third one is an app called Touch Portal. Now we'll dive into each one of these really briefly so you guys can kind of figure out which one works best for you. But I can go ahead and, go ahead and tell you, if it's me, I'm gonna use the Stream Deck mobile app to really get that feel and see if I really wanna make that Elgato purchase. So let's hop into it. Let's take a look at the uh, Stream Deck mobile. So the Stream Deck mobile is pretty cool. There's a lot of cool things you can do with it. It's very similar to the actual Stream Deck. You can build it out just like um, you would on an actual Stream Deck. Let's take a look. It basically just works on your phone exactly like a Stream Deck would. Um, the only thing is, is that it doesn't have, you know, the physical touch buttons. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to get a feel for a product when it doesn't have the tangible touch like you know, an actual product would. But What's cool about this is that you can try it free for 30 days, so it's not gonna cost you any money to test it out. Um, and then you can build it out exactly how you want. And you can see if it's gonna work for you. Um, I I use a Stream Deck. I have a Stream Deck XL with 32 key, and I highly recommend it to everyone. There's so many things that you can do with the Stream Deck, whether it's, you know, sounds like this. Um, you can put out an air horn. You know, all those different things you can do to make your stream just pop a little bit more. Um, so I would definitely take a look into the Stream Deck Mobile if that works for you and see if it's going to work. You know what I mean? There's a lot of there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So the, the possibilities are literally endless with the Stream Deck Mobile. So go ahead and take a look at this website. Um, there's going to be a link in the comments below um, so you guys can check it out and see if it's going to work for you. OK, all right. Now, the next one we're going to look at is the Streamlabs deck. This is only going to work if you use Streamlabs OBS. Um, but I know a lot of beginning streamers actually do use Streamlabs OBS because it's a lot easier to use and a lot more user friendly. So the Streamlabs deck works very similar to the Stream Deck mobile. You're going to download an app on iOS or Android. This one's absolutely free, though. It's not going to cost you anything today, not anything after 30 days. There's no trial, nothing like that. Um, so it can be useful for a new streamer, um, but it pretty much functions the same way. It just looks a little bit different on your tablet or your cell phone. So this one, you can play sounds. You can hook up your scenes to it. Um, you can toggle like, you know, your microphone on and off all kinds of various things to help you improve your content just a little bit. So I recommend taking a look at this one as well. If you use Streamlabs OBS, um, like I said, it's absolutely free, which is super cool. So if the price tag scares you a little bit, you can always hop into this one and take a look at it. OK, the next one we're going to look at is called the Touch Portal. Now, the Touch Portal is a cool one. Um, this one is one that I, I never really heard about. So until I did a little bit of research on um, actual Stream Deck alternatives, um, but it's pretty cool. It looks rad. It's also free. Um, this one works with Streamlabs OBS, OBS Live, OBS Studio, XSplit, you name it, it works with it. So let's take a look at it. What I really like and what really stands out to this one is the colors. You can make it look pretty cool. Um, I mean, you can do that on the Stream Deck as well, but this one has built-in buttons. So you just click it. Um, you can kind of put your thing on there and, and make it look exactly how you want without too much fuss. Um, with the Stream Deck, you it comes with default icons, but they're very basic and very boring. Um, but if you go to the Stream Deck website, you can actually like make your own buttons there as well. Um, but this one, it's all built right in and it's really cool. So they call it the macro remote uh, where you can control, you know, your PC or your Mac. It's pretty cool. There's tons of multi-action macros you can do just like you can on the Stream Deck. But this one will really give you that Stream Deck feel, but it's uh, it's not by Elgato. Um, I do recommend taking a look at this one. Um, here's all the integrated services, you know, from your keyboard shortcuts to OBS, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, Twitch, Twitter. Um, Twitter's a nice one if you change your name while you're streaming. Um, you can put, you know, a one button to change your name to live, one button to change your back to normal, which is pretty cool. That's something I use on my stream deck. Um, and then there's a bunch of integrated services plugins. A lot of these are the same ones you're going to get through your actual stream deck as well. Um, Spotify is a big one, um, which is cool because the stream deck doesn't actually have an official Spotify plugin. Um, there is a plugin that's uh, made by a creator named Bar Raider. 
but this one has it built right in so it's pretty cool and it's free um the spotify one through the stream deck you actually have to have a premium account for it to work because you need that api key so this one's cool something cool to look at um voice meter you know windows essentials all those kind of things trovo if you're a trovo user um there's a lot of cool things on this one so i do recommend checking out the touch portal all right so i hope those were helpful for you um like i said the stream deck mobile um the stream deck uh through stream labs and the touch portal they're all super cool easy alternatives to the stream deck um i do think over time if you do start using this you are going to really want get that feel that you do want to buy the actual stream deck product um there's nothing like it i'm going to tell you straight out even though these are all alternatives they don't compare to the stream deck at all once you get your hands on the stream deck it's going to change your content and it's going to make you go to the next level there's just so many cool things that you can do with it it's it's literally unreal um you know i love algato products and i'm gonna put my stamp of approval on them every chance that i get um, but I hopefully this guys was helpful for you. If it was, please consider like, commenting, and subscribe. And we'll catch you next week, guys. Much love.